today's learning intention is sketching quadratic functions. We're going to start this topic by reviewing all the knowledge that we gained during the National 5 Maths course. Our National 5 essential skills are that we need to know how to factorise quadratic functions and solving quadratic equations to find the roots of our functions. So let's get started. Prior knowledge, what do we learn already? Well, we've learned that a quadratic function has the form y equals, or we can use the function notation f of x equals, it's in the form ax squared plus bx plus c. Now, if the coefficient of the x squared, a, is a number bigger than zero, is a positive number, then our function is concave up. That means it's a happy curve and it has a minimum turning point. Or if a, the number before x squared, is negative, it's a number less than zero, then our function will have we concave down on a sad curve and this has a maximum turning point. The number at the end, the c value, is the y-intercept. Just like in straight line, this is the point where our function is going to cross the y-axis. Example 1. Now you have this in your notes and our little note taker icon at the top is reminding you that you can copy down the worked example. So for example 1, we have sketched the function y equals x squared plus 6x plus 8. So we've got our axis to get us started. First of all, we're going to write down the y-intercept. Where does this function cut the y-axis? So the function is x squared plus 6x plus 8. And the number 8 at the end is going to tell us where it cuts the y-axis. It's going to cut it at the point 0, 8. Now we need to know where our function cuts the x-axis. So for the x-axis intercepts, we're going to have to set the function to zero and solve it. Now to solve a quadratic function, you already know that we're going to have to factorise it first. So now we have to factorise x squared plus 6x plus 8. That's going to give us y equals x plus 4 times x plus 2 equal to zero. So if y equals 0, then either x plus 4 equals 0 or x plus 2 equals 0. And solving this, we have x equals minus 4 or x equals minus 2. So these are two points where our function, our quadratic function, is going to cut the x-axis. Now to sketch this, all we have to do is plot the points. So the point on the y-axis 0, 8. And we've also got the two points on the x-axis, 0 minus 2 and 0, negative 4. These are the roots of our function. Now, before, before we can sketch this, we're going to have to consider the axis of symmetry. Now, the axis of symmetry is always at the midpoint between the two roots. So the midpoint between minus 2 and minus 4, in this case, is the point x equals minus 3. So it's a line, a vertical line, x equals minus 3, denoting our axis of symmetry. It's along this line that we'll find our turning point. So here we have our function. It's a minimum turning point. Why? Well, because the number before the x squared is just 1. It's plus 1. That means our function is going to be a happy curve. It's positive. So that's a minimum turning point. If I want to find out what actually is the point, the turning point itself? I know that x value is minus 3. To find out that the y value is minus 1, all we have to do is substitute minus 3 back up into the function y equals x squared plus 6x plus 8. Or usually it's easier to sub it into the factorised form. It just makes it easier to do it without a calculator. And that will give you minus 1. And you can try that for yourself. That's example one, so you're taking time now to copy this down into your notes. Remember, you can always pause this video at, at any time, because I'm going to move on now to try another example, example two. So 
So example two, we've got another function, f of x, using the function notation this time, f of x equals x squared plus 2x minus 3. Again, start as I did the last time, let's find the y-intercept, that's the easy point. The y-intercept is the point 0, negative 3. And that's because the last number of our function is negative 3. And we already know that's where the function cuts the y-axis. To find the x-intercepts, to find where it cuts the x-axis, we have to take our quadratic function, x squared plus 2x minus 3, and equate it to 0 and solve it. Now to solve a quadratic function, we're going to have to factorise it first. So have a go at factorising x squared plus 2x minus 3. So there'll be two brackets. The first one will be x plus 3 times by x minus 1 equal to 0. To find the roots then, that means that function equals to 0, then x plus 3 equals 0, or x minus 1 equals 0. Solving, we have x equals negative 3 and x equals 1. Now we have three points we can plot onto our axis. We have the points um, negative 3 on the y-axis and 1 and negative 3 on the x-axis. Now I want to draw my quadratic, but first of all I need to locate where the turning point is. Now the turning point lies in the axis of symmetry, and the axis of symmetry lies midway between 1 and negative 3, midway between the roots. So halfway between the roots is the line x equals minus 1. I can then draw my curve. Remembering this case again, a is a bigger, sorry, a is bigger than 0. It's a positive value. a in this case is just 1. 1x squared. That means I have a happy curve with a minimum turning point, minus 1, minus 4. And you remember, how did I know that it was minus 1, minus 4? Well, I can substitute x equals minus 1 back into my function, x squared plus 2x minus 3, and that will give me the y, y value, minus 4. <coughs> Example 3. Sketch the function y equals negative 2x squared plus 2x plus 12. So we'll start with um, finding our y-intercept and we can clearly see that the number at the end of our function is 12 so our y-intercept will be 0, 12. From there, we're going to look at our x-intercepts or our roots, and to do that, um, y would be 0, so we make negative 2x squared plus 2x plus 12 equal to 0. From there, we must factorise. So first of all, let's take out a common factor of negative 2 so that we're not factorising a negative x squared. And if we do that, we're left with x squared minus x minus 6 inside our bracket. And then this can be factorised to give negative 2 bracket x minus 3 bracket x plus 2. We'll now make each bracket equal to 0, so x minus 3 equals 0, or x plus 2 equals 0. Therefore, our roots are x equals 3 and x equals minus 2. So from there, we can put this information on our graph, so our y-intercept of 12, and our roots of 3 and minus 2. Once our roots are plotted, the next thing is finding our axis of symmetry, which is directly in the middle of our two roots. And in the middle will be x equal to 1 half. So this is also the x coordinate of our turning point. Now, as we have a negative 2x squared, that means we have a maximum turning point if it's a negative x squared. And to find the y coordinate, we're going to sub in a half in place of x into our function. Therefore, we have a maximum turning point at 1 half 25 over 2. Now try these examples on your own. And to help you, there are some key steps 
at the bottom of this slide. Please pause the video. Here are the solutions. Please make sure that you have every point labelled on your graph. That is your roots, your y-intercept and your turning point. If you have any questions, please see your class teacher when you are next in school. So self assess your progress, okay? Are you at red? Still not sure, making lots of mistakes? You need to go back and revise National 5. And please come and see me and I'll give you extra revision sources and help it support a study. Amber, a couple of mistakes, but you've realised where you've gone wrong. In green, you're really confident, you've managed that, no problem at all, and you're ready to go into something a little bit more tricky. If you're looking for the extra work, then why not try page 150 in your textbook, exercise 8C, just try questions one and two and see how you get on. Remember, if you're not happy at all, then please come and see myself or Mrs Lyons for extra support. So what have we learned today? We've learned how to sketch quadratic functions. We've learned the following steps. Step one, find the y-axis intercept. Step two, find the x-axis intercepts. These are called the roots of the quadratic function. And to do that, we have to factorise and solve our equation. We then have to draw the axis of symmetry, which is halfway between the roots. Calculate the turning point coordinates from the function. Remembering if a is greater than zero, it's positive, you have a minimum turning point. If a is less than zero, it's negative, you have a maximum turning point. And all you have to do then is plot the points and join the dots.